Hi, I'm Cody with MailChimp. In this video, we'll go over how to create, add, or remove tags to organize contacts in your audience. Tags are labels you create to organize your audience so you can send targeted marketing to your contacts. Like groups and segments, tags are one of the main audience management tools you'll find in MailChimp. Today, we'll focus on three places where you can tag a contact. The contact table, the contact profile, and the tags page. Ready to begin? Let's dive in. To add a tag from the contact table, I'll click the audience icon and choose all contacts. Here, I'll see a list of all my contacts. If I come down below the contact table, I can use the view dropdown to show up to 100 contacts per page. If I want to tag all of my contacts, I can click on the arrow above the check boxes and choose select all. Then I'll click the tag all dropdown menu but I want to tag just a few contacts. So I'll check the box next to each contact I want to tag and click the Add or Remove Tag dropdown menu. From here, I can choose a pre-existing tag or I can type in a custom tag name specific to my business. I think I'll do Farmer's Market Attendee. That way, when I want to send a promo code to customers who visited my stand at the local farmer's market, I can easily segment my audience and send them an email campaign. Next, I'll click to add it to my selected contacts. If you already have a tag with that name, it'll appear as you type. Nice. I can now see which tags are associated with my contacts in this column. Before I move on to the next tagging method, let me show you how to remove a tag from contacts in the contact table. To untag a few of my contacts, I can select them again, click the Add or Remove Tags drop-down menu, and choose the tag I want to remove. To untag all of my contacts, I can click on the arrow above the checkboxes and choose Select All. Then I'll click the Untag All drop-down menu and choose the tag I want to remove. In the Are You Sure pop-up modal, I'll type Untag and click Untag Contacts. The next way we can add a tag is through the contact profile. Back on the All Contacts page, I'll click the contact I want to work with. In the Tag section of the contact profile, I'll click the plus icon and click the name of the tag I want to work with. I can also click the X next to the tag to remove it. Pretty simple, right? Now let's talk about another way to tag contacts. If you want to tag a bunch of contacts in your audience and you have their information saved in a spreadsheet, you can use MailChimp's bulk tag feature. This is a great way to tag a specific group of contacts all at once. To do this, I'll click Tags here in the left navigation. I have more than one audience, so I'll click the Current Audience dropdown and choose this one to work with. Then I'll choose Bulk Tag Contacts. Next, I'll type the name of my tag, and then I can choose to either import email addresses or paste email addresses. If you choose to import email addresses using a spreadsheet or CSV file, keep in mind that MailChimp will ignore any addresses that aren't already in your audience. Okay, I'll come back here to the Import Email Addresses option and click Browse to upload the file. Then I'll click Save Tag. Back on the Tags page, I can click View to see the contacts associated with my tag. I can also create a new tag here. To do so, I can click Create Tag and type in my tag name. As you can see, there are a lot of different places where you can create a new tag. Now that you've learned how to tag your contacts, you can create reusable saved segments to filter similar contacts. You can also see the most commonly used tags on your audience dashboard and start sending targeted campaigns to your contacts with just a few clicks. And that's it. You've learned how to create and tag contacts in your audience. For more information about tags, check out MailChimp's guides and tutorials.